everyone. Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 264, and this is my weekly meal plan. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor, and we'll get right into the show. Okay, so welcome back to my weekly meal plan. Each week, I just share what, with everyone what is on my meal plan for my family for the upcoming week. I just think meal planning is really important for saving money and wasting less food by buying only what you need um, to cook. And it also just makes it easier because you're not always trying to figure out what's for dinner tonight. So this meal plan is just for dinners and um, I do rotate my meals on a regular basis so I'm not always trying new recipes. Um, I do throw in something new here and there but it's pretty much just a rotation of what my family eats so you're not always gonna find new things here. Um, I think it's more just about, you know, maybe just kind of the motivation and then, you know, maybe you might hear something that you think, oh yeah, we haven't had that in a while. Maybe I could put that on my meal plan for this week. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, January 1st. So for Saturday, we're actually not going to be cooking because my mother's birthday is um, January 1st. So she's going to be coming over to my house and we're going to order out that day. So unfortunately... For the first day of this meal plan, I do not have a meal to share. Um, but for Sunday, January 2nd, I am going to make, be making Anna's Amazing Easy Pleasy Meatballs Over Buttered Noodles. This is from allrecipes.com, and this is just like a super easy, quick um, crock pot meal. It's basically like frozen meatballs, um, French onion soup, cream of celery soup, and sour cream, and you let them cook in the crock pot for like three to four hours on high, or I'm sure you could do it um, on low for you know a longer amount of time. And then you just serve it over buttered noodles. So that's it, it's just a simple meal for Sunday. Um, I may do like a side of frozen vegetables, um, you know, just whatever I have in the freezer, but otherwise we're just gonna eat the meatballs over the buttered noodles and that's it. Um, Monday, we are doing hamburgers. We do this every other Monday. So I don't really have a recipe to share for the hamburgers. I just basically take ground beef and make patties and cook them up um, on the stovetop or in the in the summer on the grill. Um, I'm also going to be making the best black bean burgers I've ever had. Not I'm not really saying that that's the name of the recipe. Um, it's from Sally'sBakingAddiction.com. One of my um, daughters doesn't eat um, meat so I make um, those I make like black bean veggie burgers this is a new recipe I started it's better than the one I had previously been using Um, so I'll kind of rotate that with like impossible burgers like every other time Um, and then I'm also doing oven fresh seasoned potato wedges which are from um, allrecipes.com and this is just a simple um, potato that you cut into wedges you don't have to peel it or anything you just cut it up into like each potato into like eight slices and then you toss it in a bag with like olive oil and onion powder and garlic powder and salt and pepper and then you just bake it in the oven it comes out really good to go as a side with the hamburgers and then I'm also just going to do a can of pork and beans on the side with that for Tuesday we are doing chicken chimichangas with sour cream sauce So this is um, just a simple way to make um, chicken chimichangas. I I specifically use this recipe for the, um, just basically for the way to cook them at the end and I just do them in the air fryer. The chicken I actually cook, this recipe calls for you to boil the chicken but I started doing it in the instant pot. I think it's like 10 minutes on high and then I forget if you let it natural release for 10 minutes, something like that. If you look up Instant Pot Chicken Breast, it'll tell you how to cook it. But it's just so much easier to just cook it in the Instant Pot. So that's what I've been doing if you have one. Um, I don't actually make the sour cream sauce that's called for in this recipe um, because I I just don't. I'm just lazy when it comes to making stuff like that sometimes. So I just buy um, sour cream and we just use that to dip you know, for the chimichangas, and I'll also put out like salsa and stuff like that, maybe some avocado. And then I'm also just going to do a bagged salad on the side with that, Um, you know, just like the kind you buy at the store that has like all the ingredients, um, the dressing and toppings and all that in the bag. I'm just going to pick up one of those and we'll have that on the side with the chimichangas. For Wednesday, um, we usually always do seafood. So this Wednesday, we are doing fried flounder. I don't have a recipe for that one. I usually just buy a bag of the frozen flounder and then I'll just bread it and fry it. 
And then I'm gonna make um, mushroom rice. This is from budgetbites.com. Um, bites is still B-Y-T-E-S. I, um, I really like to make this recipe. Um, it's, well, I can't say I really like to make this recipe. I liked when I made this recipe last time. This was a new recipe that I had tried a few weeks back and it was really pretty good and easy. Um, it's just like a, a rice and mushroom dish. It has um, fresh mushrooms in it and vegetable broth and rice and then some other seasonings, but it was really easy to make and I thought it came out really good. Um, so we're gonna do that with the fried flounder and then I'm also, again, just gonna do a bag of frozen vegetables, whatever I happen to have in the um, freezer. I usually always keep some of those steam fresh type vegetables in there. Um, so then for Thursday, Thursday we do um, usually soup and grilled cheese or breakfast for dinner. So this week we're going to be doing soup and grilled cheese because that's the night I go grocery shopping. So I try to keep my meal um, pretty quick and easy to prepare. So this week we're going to be doing six can chicken tortilla soup, which is from food.com. And this is um, literally just you just throw it together with cans of, it's like canned chicken broth, canned corn, canned black beans, canned diced tomatoes, um, and you just kind of throw it all together and cook it up real quick, and I think it comes out really good. And we're just gonna do, um, I actually haven't made this in a pretty long time, that particular soup, but I remember it was it was really pretty good. Um, and then I'm gonna do um, grilled cheese sandwiches on the side with that. So then the last meal um, on the meal plan for this week is for Friday, January 7th. We're gonna do tender um, Italian baked chicken, which is from allrecipes.com. And um, this is just a really simple way to cook um, chicken in the oven. You basically um, coat it with a mixture of mayonnaise and Parmesan cheese, and then you dip it in breadcrumbs and you just bake it. I think it comes out really good. Um, the funny thing is I'm looking at it because I have a link to the All Recipes um, website for this. And at least in my app, it's showing that it has one and a half stars. I think it's so good. Like, I'm really surprised by that. It's just simple baked chicken. I mean, it's not really anything fancy, but anyway, um, we're making that. And then I'm also gonna do broccoli pasta side dish um, as a side, and that's from tasteofhome.com. And this is where you just pretty much saute up some um, frozen broccoli. Um, I hope you can't hear that my one of my little dogs is like running around at my feet. She's like wants to go outside and I could hear her nails clicking all over the hardwood floor. So hopefully you can't hear that in the episode. Um, anyway, you just basically sa saute up some fresh broccoli um, and season it with like garlic powder or fresh garlic. And then you cook up some linguine um, or thin spaghetti and you just kind of mix it all together. So it's basically just like pasta and broccoli. So we're gonna do that on the side with the um, tender Italian baked chicken. So that is it for this week's meal plan. Um, don't forget that um, well, actually, don't you, you might forget because I forgot, just realized I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the episode, but all of these, um, any recipes that I mentioned um, that were on a website, you can find links to those on my website at lolasfrugallife.com, um, and it has the whole meal plan laid out as well, um, but if you're looking for the recipe links, you can find them there. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And you can also join our private listeners group um, on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash lolasfrugallife. If you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would really love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I can see that you're listening. Also, if you can take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, that would be really helpful to me. That is what impacts where my show will show up in search results when people are looking for a podcast similar to this one. So I would really appreciate if you wouldn't mind doing that. And thank you to those who already have. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you have a really awesome day. Today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. If there is something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be available to you locally. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. 
It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Lola, that's Better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Lola's Frugal Life listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Lola.